What's up guys? I have six boxes from Fugitive Toys. It's a lot. Let's get into it. If you're new here, my name's James and this is DC Animal Pops. All right guys, so I'm not sure where to start what to uh i wish i would have marked these things with maybe what's in there or what i believe is in there let's just get to it all right <laughs> if you don't know fugitive toys is on whatnot and they have some uh brick and mortar stores one in burlingame one in sacramento and one down here in southern california um go and check them out they're amazing but i I have been to the San Marco store down here, the one up in Burlingame, and that's where they do uh, their um, live streaming from, the one in Burlingame. So if you get a chance to go on whatnot, check out uh, one of their streams, maybe buy something. They are quality. They're a good place. Um, not always going to win, though. Let me just put preface this whole conversation with you're not always going to win, but you are going to walk away with something. And the first thing that I walked away with, oh, I like this one. This is a good one. This is Mickey Mouse. This is a good Mickey Mouse, too. Um, I'll put the PPG up so you can see how much um, it was, what it's going for, um, what it's valued at. This, uh, you know, um, basically with them, I like to play their mystery box game, and they have... I think 40 boxes, you choose your number and you get what you get. You do have opportunities to swap and maybe go up in the game. And if you've watched enough of my videos, you know I pulled some of the redemptions, but check out that Mickey. That Mickey is freaking cool. And I think he's up there, 30, 40 bucks, something like that. So they package very well. Oh my God, I should have saved this to last. Okay, anyways, let's just start it off. Let's get in here. This is probably going to be the biggest pop out of all of these, I think. But anyways, not this specific one. This is Yzma. And I was surprised to see how much value is on this. This is a, uh, I don't know, $50 pop? $40 pop? Pretty freaking cool. It's from The Emperor's New Groove. I don't remember. I saw this movie. It is Emperor's New Groove, yep. Yzma. Oh, okay. So Yzma is the bad person in this movie, right? I don't remember why. She's a cat, but whatever. I saw it once. And I think I took my kids when they were little. So, cool pop. But this next pop, this next pop is fire. And I don't know if I got in a mystery box or if I chose this or... I just purchased it outright, won it in an auction. I think I won it in an auction. <laughs> That's enough of that. This was one, one of my favorites growing up. It's the Cookie Monster. <laughs> New York Comic Con. What is that? Doesn't even say. I think it was like 2015 or so. It just says New York Comic Con limited edition. It's the Flocked Cookie Monster. Look how freaking cool he looks. That one is sick. Nice box. This one is going in the collection. I think this is a $100 pop. That is fire. I love that. And <laughs> the rest on here, like these Burton Ernie, these things are worth some money. They have good value. So uh, it's gonna be a while collecting those, but I'm gonna start that collection. I'm usually Star Wars, uh, horror and uh, that's what I say but I got so much Star Wars horror and Freddy Funko and apparently Mickey Mouse and uh, the Cookie Monster so that was a cool cool box cool pickup here's another box I have no clue what's in it let's check it out shall we so a lot of times I'm going for redemptions I'll pick my specific numbers typically 10 and 29 and I hit a lot of times but there's a lot of times as you'll see through these boxes that I don't hit so let's see what we got 
You won't see any dwarves. So I'm not doing the dwarf game anymore with these guys because you can try to trade or you know go for uh, an upgrade, and if you don't hit, you end up with a door. And I have plenty of those. Okay, this box is mediocre at best. I've had both of these. I just actually sold one of these. I sold this one, Samwise Gamgee. The glow in the dark. Pretty freaking cool. He's back in my collection. And there he is, Samwise. This one I have right down there. This is Pilot Mickey Mouse. I love me some Mickey, but I don't need the same ones over and over piling up. <laughs> there he is. That's Pilot Mickey. Anyways, let's see what we got. <laughs> okay. I don't know why I got this one. Probably because I thought, first I thought, he's going to be in the Hall of Fame. Then I, you know, I thought, I even said, oh, watch me stomp on him in, in, in my next video. But I'm not going to stomp on him. I don't think it's worth very much because he was a cheater. <laughs> but um, it's Jose Altuve. I am not a fan of the Houston Astros. But there he is. And I said I was going to stomp on him, give me something to do. But that's not happening. What's up, Al Altuve? I'm sure somebody will take you from off my hands but this one here this one's cool and I had the opportunity to get um, <laughs> it's twin let's just say with Chucky and Tommy but I didn't for some reason but I did get Phil and Lil what's their last name DeVille Phil and Lil DeVille from the Rugrats I freaking love the Rugrats and it wasn't something that was out when I was a kid that's for sure but watching it with my children you start to appreciate it. And this is a great show. Anyways, it's the two-pack of Phil and Lil. I thought that was hilarious. All right, let's get into this one. And what do we got? A lot of paper. And, oh, there he is. It's Roger Rabbit. Boom. Another cool one. This is a shared exclusive sticker from 2022 Fall Convention. Roger Rabbit. Man, he looks silly. Cool one, though. Roger. Good dude. Anyways, there he is. And finally, I think I know what this one is. Yep. Fugitive Toys. And here we go. More paper. Oh, hoo, hoo. NFT. 2050 pieces. It's the Green Lantern. Kyle Rayner. Boom. This is one of your NFT redeemables. Freaking awesome. And I think this is a $105 value. Something like that. Freaking awesome. I've got way too many pups. I need to start putting these up in the store. Very cool. Let me know what you think of this uh, Fugitive Toys haul. Um, quite a bit of cool stuff. Cookie Monster, obviously my favorite. That thing in person, that flocked, is insane. And it's the Cookie Monster. Why wouldn't that be? my favorite but let me know what you thought um yeah that's all i have for you today don't forget to like comment and subscribe and as always be good be well and thanks for watching